the challenge I think that faces all students at the moment is, as you said, getting the messaging right. Mm -hmm. Why them? Why are they the special case that they need to be in terms of whatever their particular narrative is that means that reinsurers are willing to get behind them? What is I, the comfort factor they can bring in terms of here is the data, this is, you know, what's good about it and actually get out in front of, as you said, what's bad about it. Mm -hmm. I, and then be able to have a conversation early with those reinsurers about how much it's going to cost them so that they can make sure that they are budgeting effectively for that. Mm -hmm. I, and some of these budgeting conversations happen with such senior people or with regulators or so far in advance that you don't actually get many bites at the apple to continue mm -hmm. the brief <laughs> discussion in the sense that you know, if you're at Lloyd's, for example, you know, the, the planning uh, discussions for reinsurance purchasing, they have to be approved well in advance of actually buying it. Similarly, if you're going uh, to get approval from a committee that only meets every six weeks, yeah. you know, like if you, <laughs> yeah. if you get hit with a curveball, do you really want to be the one who calls an emergency meeting with six of the most senior people in the company, mm -hmm. you know, to come and listen to how you've fudged up the, the reinsurance and actually you should have asked for more or less or you mm -hmm. want approval to do something different. You want to be in top form for those conversations because your entire reputation as a seeded re manager or outwards buyer uh, sits on how well you manage the renewal process. So anything that can give you more clarity in advance on what to buy and how much to buy, I yeah. think is fully worth it.